Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're back in London. I think this is the last time that we're gonna come for the summer. I don't know. And I was not even planning to vlog. But today, we're gonna go to Harrods. And I thought to do like a very improvised, fun shopping vlog. So I have a lot of things that I want to see in person, a lot of bags. And the last time that I was in Harrods was like six years ago. So I'm actually quite excited to go. I want to try some shoes on, look for bags, etc. So I don't plan to buy anything. Well, yes, if I find specific things that I'm looking for, I will buy them but i don't think that i will be finding them just because i've been looking for them for a while but it doesn't mean that we cannot window shop and try things on that maybe we like sorry about the quality i was not really planning to vlog this trip to london so i didn't bring my camera so all of this is with my phone but the phone does film in 4k so that's like good enough this time we're staying in the shortage area so it's a little bit far away but we want to go check the stores out walk around eat something and hopefully you enjoy this vlog i will show you the outfit of the day and we're going to go but i only brought my mini kelly and um those right there are my shoes so apologies in advance for the lighting of the hotel because it's quite dark but when we pass so i only brought this blazer as backup and the rest of my outfits are quite summery but i'm gonna wear this pair of shorts or stripes with the frankish up blazer and a white top and these are the shoes that i'm gonna be wearing they are the scarrows up pair in beige they kind of match with the outfit and the bag that i chose to bring was only the mini kelly so let's go Are you excited? No, actually I'm not. <laughs> you are? You want to look for shoes? Yeah, maybe some shoes, maybe a belt because I forgot mine. Very me, actually.
basic me loves this sweater. Do you like these shoes? <laughs> oh my god, the Tim! This is how I can actually like feel before I buy them. Do we want to add it in more colors? And this is the cardigan I want from Kaite actually. Let's see how much it is here. But I love it. Yeah, that looks really nice. I want this for the house. I think I might try my luck at Hermes.
Okay, so I'm back in Barcelona. I didn't finish vlogging because I was never really planning to vlog, but I want to chat about the things that I saw, why I didn't buy certain things, the things that I liked the most, and just like close this vlog a little bit. Uh, but I basically decided that I wanted to vlog going to Harrods because I haven't really gone in a really, really long time. I think the last time that I was in Harrods was like 2017 or so, and I didn't even remember how many floors and how many stores and how pretty Harrods is. Honestly, one of the most amazing experiences for luxury shopping but I didn't buy anything so let me start with the fact that I think that I'm gonna be on my deal era because every single Dior that I see and that I try I fell in love with it like the three that I saw are definitely if I cared I would have taken the three bags home especially the blue one I mean the pink one with the pearls was insanely beautiful the details that it has was amazing and then the blue one I don't know if I like better the blue or the pink one because one was like crystal sort of like a chapel I don't know how you say it in English but vitrales so I'm gonna show a picture. It was so unique and beautiful. I don't know which one you guys like better. I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. Then I went to Chanel. I didn't love anything specifically that made me go like, I need to say for this, I want to add it to the wishlist. So for Chanel, we're fine. But the essay was so kind. We went first to the ready to wear section instead of the bags. That's my recommendation to you. If you ever go to Harrods, they're gonna be nicer to you if you are on the ready to wear, which is the clothing section. They also have some bags, which were the ones that I mostly show you. It it's less crowded, they're nicer, and there's still lots to see. And the guy at Chanel, he was so nice and he was showing me pretty much anything. No one said anything to me about filming and I always get comments about that in the stores that you're not allowed to film and didn't seem to be an issue at Harrods. I loved the sparkly shoes that I saw at the beginning. I'm definitely saving and finding them at some point. Then I went to Celine and I found the sneakers in 35. The thing is that I thought that I was going to be able to use 35, but they were a little bit big. Like when I was walking they would still slip out so i have to go for 34 so in case you were looking for the sneakers you will have to size down they run a little bit big i found the tote it was reserved for someone else definitely fits a macbook 16 inch so that is very appealing to me i definitely want it i think it's a bag that i'm gonna have to buy and try but i think that i'm gonna go with black when i decide to do it like my selling store here in barcelona is being repaired like it's closed but when they open i'm definitely gonna try that the sweat or jumper whatever it was amazing it's probably one of my favorite ready to wear pieces that i've ever tried on but yeah the shoe thing was a bummer because i really really like them and they're very comfortable with valentino i was quite shocked like every single thing was like sparkly every single brand every single store that you would enter you had crystal sparkly pearls and i kind of loved it like i loved something from every single store that i entered and that doesn't happen often so there were a few bags from valentino that i actually really liked and a whole entire clothing collection that I was very into, very my style. It's the typical striped nautical theme. I tried my luck at Hermes, but it was appointment only. I should have known that. It's like that here in Barcelona too. So I was going to try and they were really nice. They just told me like if I could come back in like two hours, but I need to leave. So yeah, I didn't get anything. The shoes, like I found the day sneakers, but in the gold, they were stunning. I love them, but I don't know if I'm gonna give them the proper use because they're not white sneakers. So I don't know if I should hold back for the white ones or consider the brown ones. What do you think? Did you like them? I love them, but I don't feel like I can use them with everything or maybe yes. Very particular with shoes in that sense. They were a tad big, but I think thick socks could fix that. I don't know. I didn't buy anything because of that. However, the Delvaux bags, insane. Like the crystal bags were so beautiful, especially the beige one. It said do not touch there, so I didn't want to touch it. But yes, it was, he was really nice. So he told me that. I could try the bag on and I did and I don't know if I like more the Delvaux bag but it was like 10,000 pounds and the Dior ones were a little bit more affordable of course the Delvaux one Delvaux is Delvaux like you know you know I loved it I would add that back to the wishlist but I already know that for me to find it again would be quite complicated I'm not having my hopes up for that so yeah that was a little bit of an improvised shopping vlog in London I would have taken my camera if I knew that I was going to do a proper vlog or something but I didn't I hope that nonetheless you enjoyed the video. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you enjoyed it. The flyback was super easy, super comfortable. I have to thank Whatnot so much for flying us again to London. I had an amazing time. Polo didn't find anything either. He was super hungry. He just wanted to leave. Uh, but we did try to look for a belt and shoes. He wants a lot of piano loafers, but he wants to try them on first because he's quite picky with shoes. And I was trying to convince him to also get a belt, but nothing that he liked. So 
so that was it for this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching i'm gonna leave youtube videos right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye